Hello, I wanted to explain something about the uh, vertical grip on the new X-T4 that uh, no one else has explained. Specifically, uh, the three different levels of use for both power and performance. We have normal, economy, and boost. Here I'm also going to compare it between that and the X-T3 vertical grip. Obviously you can tell it's a lot taller than the uh, X-T3 grip. And the uh, reason for that primarily is not only is it a larger battery, but like unlike the X-T2 and X-T3 in which the batteries in the vertical grip are oriented like this, and of course are smaller, they are oriented on their side on the X-T4. Okay. We also have a microphone jack right here and same sort of flip open switch to open up the uh, tray for the vertical grip on the X-T4. Specifically, boost mode um, has uh, obviously uh, for performance and uh, display uh, improvements, but it also has three subsets of uh, performance, and I'm going to show you those right now. There we go. Normal, I think, is self-explanatory. You choose a standard focus, viewfinder display performance for battery endurance, but everybody's asking, what does economy mean? This actually should be called battery saver mode, and it actually should be oriented above normal. Normal should be in the middle because it should be three levels of performance, but as long as you know what it is, you can put it in the right place. So it should be economy, normal, and boost because normal is of course normal operations for the camera, just like it would be on the X-T2 and X-T3. Economy actually uh, gives you approximately 70 more shots on a single battery. If I didn't have the vertical grip, all these uh, modes for normal economy and boost are available with the uh, just the camera without the vertical grip. So with the uh, boost mode, camera only, not the vertical grip, you would have approximately 450 shots and uh, Excuse me, normal mode. Uh, yep, normal mode would be uh, 500 uh, shots approximately. Economy would be approximately 570 shots, and boost mode would drop it down to 450. But specifically, I'm actually going to go through the three different sub levels of boost mode. Normal and economy only have one, but boost mode actually has three different sub levels. And I'll actually scroll through those here. I'll actually, zoom in so you can see it. Here we go, because it actually changes out quite fast as far as what you could see. Here we go, and back out. Performance boost, EVF LCD boost, and EVF uh, frame, root, uh, frame rate. So the uh, three options that we actually have are display brightness is adjusted to make subjects and shadows easier to see. EVF LCD resolution priority is uh, display resolution is increased to make details easier to see. And uh, EVF uh, frame rate, where it changes the refresh rate uh, for the EVF, which is uh, increased. However, all three subsets of uh, boost mode, however, improve camera focus and viewfinder display performance. But the, uh, the way Fujifilm designed it is that you have the selectability, the options of choosing three different subset priorities in boost mode. So all Anytime you're in boost mode, you have a better uh, focus and viewfinder performance, but you have the option also of three different subsets of improved boost performance. So that's the explanation of that, and I've seen that nobody else on YouTube has explained that. So economy should just be seen as battery saving mode or battery miser mode. Okay, people are incorrectly thinking the economy is type of an is a type of economy boost but it's just the opposite of that. It's actually a lower performance than normal. Um, this means for regular stills photography stuff where, you know, high frame rate and you're stressing out the LCD and uh, anything that would require excessive uh, power use would not be required. Stills photography, landscape, street, so on and so forth. So, let me actually turn this off. I love the fact that the fully articulating screen can be brought inwards like this because a lot of the time I actually do all my uh, information and looking through the uh, EVF so I actually love that feature. Um, let's actually do a side by side between, I'll place it uh, lug to lug and here you can actually see how much taller the uh, X-T4 vertical grip is than that of the X-T3. Also too it has really really nice ergonomics, actually let me flip it over here so you could actually see between the two and then come up some. You actually have a lot deeper grip 
on, uh, especially, and by the way, I wanted to mention that it's almost exactly halfway between uh, the vertical grip, um, excuse me, the, uh, the grip on the uh, X-H1 versus that of the X-T3. Not, this is of course the specific hump that's attached to the vertical grip, but the grip on the camera itself of the X-T4 is essentially exactly halfway between that of the X-H1, which is a very much DSLR type ergos, and that of the uh, X-T3. And of course, both of them are covered up right now by the uh, vertical. This is actually a, uh, uh, keeps the, uh, the vertical grip uh, from movement. So not only does it add ergonomic uh, grip to the X-T3 and X-T4, it's also a, a, locking, uh, a locking stay for the vertical grips, which only has one uh, attachment point via the tripod socket, of course. So that's uh, what this actually does. It serves uh, two purposes, but here you can actually see, if I could do a side-by-side -side here, it's actually a deeper and you actually have a nicer ergo grip on the vertical grip with the X-T4 than you do on the X-T3. Not that either one of them are shabby. I actually like the vertical grip, uh, specifically the wider face set uh, for a vertical, uh, i.e. portrait orientation on the X-T4. Because there's more, uh, there's actually uh, more grip space there. I, I do understand people want it to be smaller, but I mean, there's benefits to both. I mean, this is the reason why why people love smaller cameras, but they still love, you know, the DSLR ergos on that of the X-H1. So the X-T4 ergos with the vertical grip are extremely close to that of the X-H1, extremely close. But, uh, locks in place in the same way. Obviously it is a lot taller. Here we actually have a, uh, this will be perfect for adding a, a hand strap like I have on the X-T3 here, my custom leather and sheepskin hand strap, which is actually very, very nice. But uh, yeah, the surface area in this is almost twice as large on the platform for a grip on the X-T4, which I actually think people will like better than that of the X-T3 as far as number of people. But I'm glad I actually could explain that on the three different types of uh, performance level. Normal, of course, is normal, doesn't require explanation. Economy means battery saver mode. That's what it should be called. People will keep asking me, what does economy mean? It, it just means battery saver mode. You're getting approximately 70 more shots over that of normal. So as far as actual true performance level, uh, going from lowest to, high to, lowest to highest, it is, of course, economy, then normal, then boost. But, uh, anyway. I'm adding a bunch of stuff in the Fujifilm X-T4 book, um, excuse me, the book on the Fujifilm, tips and tricks, and I'm adding a lot of information, and I'll have it available. Here's the uh, headphone jack for the headphones. I'll have it available by the time the X-T4 drops for sale here at the end of April. I'm working hard on it right now. But uh, yeah, with these uh, three larger batteries, you know, one in the camera and two in the vertical grip, you know, you've... And that's a lot. That's basically, with these three batteries together, is essentially like six of these batteries. So imagine having the totality of basically six batteries inside your X-T4. Also very important, the uh, shutter mech life is doubled on uh, that of the uh, X-T4. It's a totally new shutter mech. Not only is it incredibly quiet and stealthy, it's got a shutter life uh, rated for 300,000, which is twice that of the X-T3 and X-T2, which are rated at 150,000. Anyway, thank you so much for watching. Hope you like these videos. I mean, if you got any questions, bye.